Hello, welcome to my channel, HelpBlender.Designs. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to repeat object, any object around the shape using the envelope tool. So first of all, let's create the shape. On the polygon to the drop down, the flyout, you're going to find the graph paper. Okay, so we are going to make a graph of 10 by 14 feet. Okay, just enter that in the box and you draw, click and drag to make that. So for us to have a definite size for this box, I'll be changing my unit of measurement to millimeters. Then uh, we have 100 millimeters by 140 millimeters. Okay. So this is it. We can uh, ungroup. Let me just use a bigger sheet. Okay. So we can ungroup all of this. So control U on your keyboard to ungroup or you right click from the drop down menu. Click on ungroup. Okay. So the boxes, you can see the graph has been broken into different parts. So to create the shape we want, uh, just going to delete some part of the graph. Okay, click, select, uh, delete, click and drag, just select, just repeat that until we get a particular shape. To do the same thing here 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 and here okay so this is a shape click and drag select all of them and weld it together and pick a color so this is our shape so we have to put this round a part so let's make a circle pick the ellipse to pick the ellipse to Hold down your control key to make a perfect circle. We can give this circle 100 meters by 100 meters. Okay, so you can duplicate the circle. Click and drag right click. So let's make the second one 50 by 50 meters. Select the both object and trim. From the property bar, you just select trim. So you can see we have this. So uh, I'll cut the smaller circle. We're going to use it in front. So just cut it out and leave it at the clipboard. With any of the free hand to make a straight line on the circle. So let's divide the circle into several parts so we can rotate this click on the center of the line get the rotate gear so if you hold your control key you'll notice that it rotates by default at 15 degree so I want it to be at 30 degree right click to get that done then um, we can repeat the action Uh, let's okay. Let's do that again. So this is thirty degrees. Okay, so let's repeat that. Control D. So we have this. So select all the lines and the circle, and uh, minus back from front. So you can see what we have. It has divided the circle into smaller parts. So we can break this apart. Control K, or you right click on the object, you have this, or you press Control K on your keyboard. So now select all of them. I'll just delete. Um, we need to rotate this to 50, angle of 15 degrees. 
Okay. So I select all of it. Reason I did the rotate is so that I want to have uh, one of the shapes to be at the middle of the circle. So you can see that is actually at the middle. So I'll delete the rest of the shape. Select or hold shift. Uh, sorry, hold your control to select one of it. It did not break apart. It did. So. What's going on? Okay, you can just select. So we have one. Remember we cut the smaller circle and it's on the clipboard. So just press Ctrl V to paste to call it back. Now this is where the magic happens. Um, we need to call up our envelope two, but this time we're going to use it from the Docker. So this is the envelope two. We are going to use it from the Docker. It helps it better. So either from this is the Docker from this plus sign below here. If it is not active, just look out for it on this list and check it. So when you check it, it's going to be active and you have this window. If you don't get it from here, you can as well uh, go through the effect menu and you have it below this point. Okay, whichever way you can get it out. So this is our object. We want to fit to this path. Uh, just make a duplicate of this object. So now we have several options for the, the envelope. We have the horizontal, original, puffed, and vertical. So for this tutorial, we're going to be making use of the puff. And we have two options here. You can keep in line or you create envelope from. So we are going to be using the create envelope from to select the shape, create envelope from this shape. So you can see the arrow that is pointing out so from this shape. Voila, so you can see it just gave us, turn the object to exact shape. So you can just click on the object, select the other one, Ctrl T, Control L just to align the shape, the both shapes. You can delete the other shape. If you have done this, uh, we can use I love green and lemon. So let's do lemon. Okay, and uh, I want this to tick in the outline. So to do that, you can convert the outline to to curves. Okay, uh, either you convert the outline to copy, separate it from the shape. You can do that by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and Q on your keyboard. Ctrl, Shift, plus Q. It will just separate the line from the object. Okay, so you can select both of it and uh, group. Weld it again. So you can see the thickness is increased. Uh, add another outline. Uh, let me make it three points. So having done this, this is the path where it gets interesting. So just click on the object and change the rotation center. Find to the center of this smaller circle. Then you can turn the gear from the side, if you just hold control to align to 30 degrees, right click and uh, control D to duplicate that action. You can see what we have and delete the smaller circle, select all the objects and well, voila. So this is our shape perfectly. It has just fit into fit into the circle. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you find value in this tutorial, give the video a thumbs up, share, like and share 
some other persons might find value just like you have found. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video.